everyone welcome back to project pro youtube channel and in today's video i am going to talk about how to transition from etl development to data engineering so before going into the depth of the transitioning how you can do that kind of transition first let's try to understand how this etl developer profile is bit different from the data engineering so data engineering and etl development at the end the end goal and the purpose is to solve data related problems and on the higher level what we can say to create those kind of scalable data pipelines as a data engineer in our previous videos we have talked about this extensive roadmap you can check our previous videos where i talked about data engineering roadmap in detail what data engineers actually do what kind of step by step skills you need to acquire so when it comes to etl development and data engineering both are solving the same purpose but in a different way right because data engineering is much more about creating those kind of scalable data pipelines which are optimized enough and for that one you need the kind of tech frameworks or you need that kind of liberty and freedom so that you can fine tune your system right and data engineering is just not restricted to any kind of enterprise level tools or those kind of frameworks right where you can just use the drag and drop features or you are just using some ui and some configuration related things and creating your data pipelines with data engineering you will not able to get that kind of liberty and that is why when it comes to data engineering while building those scalable data pipelines that solution can mix a lot of things sometimes open source frameworks like the hadoop hive spark right and many more let's say kafka nifi and all these things and let's say there could be a company which is using the cloud based solution complete cloud based solution it can be aws azure gcp right and there could be a company which is using a hybrid solution let's say some sort of the open source related part and something related to the cloud so that is all about data engineering building those kind of scalable pipeline in the etl development we are doing the same thing but here we are not working as a core data engineer right etl development is more about knowing those big data related skills for sure how big data works different file formats the the crux of the big data as a etl developer actually you are not dealing with the engineering level complexities those kind of complexities which comes into picture when you create large scale systems right the whole infra related thing the parallel processing the optimization fine tuning even sometimes interacting with the back end apis all those crux of programming and even building the large scale system using the best software development practices because in the etl development mostly you will be having those kind of problem statements where your data sources are defined sometimes it can be the uh, database no sql all transactional or even let's say other data warehousing services right or sometimes saas applications as well and you are not supposed to do that kind of fancy transformation or very complex transformations right so you will have that kind of support of enterprise level tools for an example informatica talent and many others which are really popular when it comes to the etl right because they are very straight forward to use even if you are a guy who don't have that much tech knowledge means the tech depth still you can use these kind of enterprise level tools very easy as i said graphical user interface you will have everything to do just with the configuration connect to the sources bring the data with the different frequencies and just use those inbuilt features of the platform itself to transform your data and just dump it into your downstream system but in data engineering it is not about only using the uh, enterprise level tools we need to write our custom applications it can be spark real time and it can be sometime batch processing different frameworks different kind of things right so in the etl development that is how when it comes to the uh, engineering level challenges right this profile is not all about that one ultimately we are doing the same stuff as i said we are also as a data engineer doing the data processing the etl but with the custom tools custom hand custom tech frameworks but in etl development it is more about solving big data related problems and creating big data pipelines using the enterprise level tools and etl developer profile is just not only about using the enterprise level tools for etl there are much more responsibilities involved like having the complete understanding of the data domain you have to be good at the sql as well right automations for the automation related things we need to know the python part 
and even sometimes for the orchestration airflow these kind of tools can also come into picture you need to have a good understanding of the databases as well similarities are there for sure but it is just a difference of building complex data pipelines in most efficient way with full freedom now let's say you are a etl developer and you want to move into the data engineering so first thing i would say this transition for you is going to easy if you compare yourself with other folks who are let's say in a different job profiles let's say software engineer java developer or the tester or even some kind of non tech profile this transition could be little bit hard but for you this transition will be very smooth and very easy because as a etl developer the things which i mention you are supposed to be good at the sql databases understanding how big data actually flows what are what are the important terminologies like data frequency real time batch different file formats to deal with the data data cleaning cleansing all these kind of things and you will be pretty much aware with the data warehousing data modeling related things as well so the larger section of becoming a data engineer you have already covered means these are the skills which are definitely required in the data engineering 50% section you have already covered now apart from that what all things you actually need to focus on and how you can make this kind of transition to become a top notch data engineer you also need to go into the top notch side of data engineering that means acquiring the core skill sets so you should have a good understanding of the big data fundamentals and the important frameworks which has become really really mandatory nowadays when companies are looking for the skilled data engineers so those are like hadoop good understanding of it complete architecture how it works different components of it like hdfs map reduce resource management like yarn and then it comes the hive part as well which is another open source data warehousing service and many companies are still using it for their batch related data analytics so definitely a really really good skill set to have and after that the mandatory thing the mandatory tech framework for the data engineers nowadays that is the apache spark so you should have a really really good understanding and hands on understanding of apache spark and spark streaming apache spark individually you can use for the batch processing the component of it which is spark streaming you can use for the near real time data pipelines so it becomes really really important companies are looking for those kind of data engineers who have really really good understanding of spark so you need to cover the complete architecture all the fundamentals of spark so definitely you need to cover all the fundamental architecture related thing of spark how spark work how you can actually code in spark what kind of optimization techniques you can follow how you can do the resource level optimization dealing with the error handling and even the best practices of using spark so this is something which you definitely need to know but you will get this idea when you build something around it so whenever you are trying your hands with these kind of tech frameworks try to build something any kind of dummy project or very small project mini project kind of thing try to do that so that your knowledge is expanded apart from that there will be few other frameworks which i would definitely recommend like apache flume apache scoop apache flink for pure real time data streaming related pipelines apache nifi as well so these things will add a great great value in your profile and will actually help you to move into data engineering really really fast and when it comes to build the real time data pipelines you should also have a good idea about using the messaging queues like apache kafka and as a etl developer as i said you would have a good expertise on sql databases no sql related things data warehousing so for that part you are already covered the thing which i talked about that is the core of data engineering and apart from that you should have a really really good expertise on the programming language so python definitely recommended one have a good good problem solving skills as well so that you can crack a good product based companies as well and for that you need good programming skill and also problem solving skills as well now what else can help you to stand out from the crowd that is the cloud component because cloud plus big data is actually a match made in heaven so that is something i would definitely recommend who want to make this kind of transition so anyhow if you can have a really really good understanding of the cloud component right it's not mandatory that you have to start with something very specific you can pick any of the cloud platform of your choice everything is in demand aws azure gcp but if you want to take my personal opinion obviously aws is there which has a larger market cap and lots of companies are using it so 
you can start with the AWS and when you even get interviewed by different companies and let's say previously you had worked on different cloud platform and you have a doubt that that particular company will not hire me because uh, that company is using something else let's say Azure or GCP and you had a prior experience in AWS so that is a complete myth because when companies interview the candidates they look for the cloud understanding right because these three AWS Azure GCP they are the competitors they all are trying to solve the common problem it is just they have their own way of developing those services and difference on the costings that is the only difference because if you take the common problem which is let's say relational database on the cloud so AWS has AWS RDS Azure has also built something which is for the relational databases GCP also has a service which is specifically for the relational databases when it comes to the persistent storage so AWS has AWS S3 Azure has Azure blob GCP has GCP storage all of them are definitely trying to solve a common problem so you can start with AWS right for sure as a recommendation if you want to take it from my side so the things which you actually need to cover in AWS with respect to data pipelining and data engineering it should be AWS S3, AWS EMR, AWS Glue, AWS Lambda, AWS Redshift, AWS DynamoDB, AWS SNS, AWS SQS and AWS CloudWatch. These are some of the most most important and frequently used cloud services when it comes to the AWS and I have personally worked in Amazon as well so based on my experience I am saying very much important when it comes to building the data pipelines on AWS these are the services which we keep on using so this is the overall package right which you need to cover if you want to move from the ETL developer profile to the data engineering side so at this moment we have covered the skill set part but now it comes how you can make your transition very smooth so for this one I would give my personal recommendation that when even after working into the ETL developer profile although let's say you have acquired the right skill set for the data engineering profile so the first and foremost focus of yours should be building the projects right it shouldn't be like that on your resume it is just written that you know Hadoop you know Hive you know this part but in practical life you haven't created any such kind of project which includes Hive, Hadoop, Spark or any other thing so whatever skills you are trying to acquire try to make good projects around it so that you can feel confident and you can also showcase your data engineering skill set in front of the interviewers now here your question will be that previously I was working on the ATL developer profile whether companies will shortlist my profile for the data engineer role or not and that is the genuine question and mostly I would say companies might reject your profile because when it comes to the higher data engineering profile and someone is coming from a different background they obviously look for some sort of experience some sort of experience with the real world or you can say industry level data engineering projects so for you as a ETL developer you have the upper hand and you have the advantage and how so after acquiring the skill set what you can do you can try to find the opportunities related to data engineer in your current organization right because ETL developer if you are working there I'm expecting companies and so I'm definitely expecting there will be teams who are purely working on data engineering projects and data science projects so try to find those teams who are working on those projects have a chat with the leadership and the management that you want to upskill yourself and have a chat with those teams right who are hiring for that particular job profile and showcase your skills showcase your interest that you are interested in it so it will be very very easy for you to get that kind of internal transition first so internal transition now from that ETL developer profile and ETL related projects you are doing you will be completely into the data engineering related project and after that you can definitely get into that one spend one one and a half year two years there right and if you enjoy working there keep on continuing work on more data engineering projects but that kind of internal transition will help you to add some relevant real world industry level experience of data engineering in your resume and that is something which will help you when you will try to make that kind of jump from ETL development to the data engineering because after that recruiters will definitely recognize that section which you have mentioned in your resume related to the 
industry level project of data engineering and that will be the most important attention seeker so that's how you can actually make this kind of transition from ATL developer profile to data engineering and the internal transition is something which should be your first preference again I'm saying right if you are able to crack the interviews you got the opportunities from different company and you are able to get it then you can definitely go for those kind of opportunities but if you find it difficult and you are not getting those kind of external interview opportunities so prioritize that internal switch first gain that experience and then you will be easily move into the data engineering so that's what i had for you guys in this video i'm pretty sure you would have enjoyed it as i said the important part which i emphasized on building the real world level projects or industry level projects so here you can get the help from the project pro because the project pro itself very very rich repository of more than 270 plus solved completely solved end-to-end -end big data related projects lots of things for you inside the project pro so don't forget to check out the platform itself and build your strong portfolio link will be in the description and i will see you guys in the next video with another amazing topic till then just keep exploring data